Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a, a preloader in Swish Max 4. Right. Um, have a look out here, this is the stage, uh, I've set it to 800 by 600 and the background color is the pound sign 33333. This size 800 by 600 pixels is uh, in accordance with the picture that I'm going to use. Right. Uh, first things first. Guys, you may be in the outline uh, tab right now. You need to go to the components tab and then you need to locate the progress tab. It's such a breeze, you know, it's, it's so easy to add a preloader uh, in Swish Max. So just keep going down until you can actually locate uh, progress. Yep, the section called progress. I'm just looking for that. There it is. And under progress, uh, what you need to do is uh, one of the easiest preloaders to add. There are six, seven preloaders out here. I find this progress circle one of the easiest preloaders to add. So you can just pull it out and drag it onto the stage like so. Right. After which I'll go to Windows. I'll go to the Alliance panel. I'll make sure that I align it centrally on the stage. Right. And after which uh, I'm going to hit the parameters tab out here. I'm going to go to the section, the entry which says bottom highlight color. I'm going to click that. I'm going to change the color to a different color. Uh, let's go with this one. Yep. And uh, okay. So that's it. That's how easy it is to add a preloader. And uh, what I need to do next is I just need to say insert. Go on to the, you know, another scene. So basically adding an, um, a scene out here. And uh, after which I need to bring in the picture. So I'm going to say insert. Let's say an image. And this image of a bike is what I need to bring in. All right. As I said, the bike or this image of the bike is uh, exactly 800 by 600, which is in accordance with the stage. So um, window align, perfectly align it onto the stage. Right. And then what I need to do is I can right click on the picture. I can go out here. It says break and then say break into pieces. OK, I'm breaking into breaking it into um, five columns and uh, three rows, which is cool. OK. And uh, I'm not going to change any other value. I'm going to straight away say, okay, now this is actually broken. Um, the, you know, the picture of the bike into pieces, as we will soon see. Okay, next, what I need to do is I need to add an effect to this picture. So I can go out here, I can click out here, and then I'll go down where it says one off, and then I'll uh, choose the option explode. Okay, automatically 20 frames of explode are selected. I'm going to increase that to let's say 25 okay after which people you need to hit the effects tab if not already open and i'm going to change the explode to implode that's the reverse of explode so when uh, you know pieces join and it's actually implode when they break apart and spread apart it's actually explode okay let's see um, let me bring this panel out let me tear it out Okay, you can see there are certain other options as well. The strength is eight, um, which is but fine. Let me keep it at eight. There's no problem there. Okay, so and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the 75th frame. Here it is, and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to one off, and then I'm gonna say explode once again. All right, but this time I'm gonna keep uh, explode as explode and not as implode. If you remember last time, I chose an implode. But this time I'll keep explode as explode and uh, I'm happy to keep it at 20, 20 frames only I would want it to go at a higher strength from instead of 10 I'm going to select 8 I'm going to select 10 all right cool and the direction uh, in fact I'll keep it at up instead of uh, down which is the default okay so uh, and on the last frame which is the 94th frame I'm going to just highlight that frame I'm on scene 3 layer guys and I'm going to go to the script and uh, in fact um, I'm going to say add script I'm going to go down I'm going to go to movie control I'm going to say go to and play go to and play frame uh, you can see out here uh, in the script panel it says on frame 94 go to and play 1 okay but i'm going to make a slight alteration i'm going to click this uh, radio button out here 
and uh, hence altering the script now it says on frame 94 go to scene and play so basically go to the current scene okay if you remember we had a preloader screen and uh, this is the current screen where we actually have the picture the implode and the explode uh, options so on the current scene i would want it to go back and go to frame the first frame basically what i'm trying to do out here is i wouldn't want it to go back to the preloader screen which is the earlier scene um you see uh, the preloader runs then it takes you to the uh, you know the next scene where you have the picture the effects and then um, by default it would rush back to the very first uh, scene where we have the preloader that is something i would want to avoid and in order to avoid it this is the you know little bit of uh, switch script that i need to add go to scene and play go to which scene current scene and play what play frame number one that's it so um, high time i actually test whatever whatever we have just created so i'm going to go to window go down to debug okay and then i'm going to test uh the effect so play the movie you can see the preloader running then you see the implode then you see the explode and it actually is going in an endless loop so that's an implode then we see the explode and the implode and the explode so on and so forth forever so people you saw how easy it is to add uh, a preloader in fact let me show it to you once again let me stop it let me hit the play button once again there comes the preloader only for a brief time if you really want to see it what you can do is i can just uh, go to the debug uh, panel and drop the um, the speed to let's say a cable which is 512 kilobytes and uh, if i test it now you'll be able to see the preloader for a longer time so you see there is no switch script involved and it's so very easy so guys i hope you like this tutorial and i hope you'll keep coming back for more you have a good day guys bye bye peace